Welcome to Anything Is Possible. It's your boy Ish. And it's your girl Zai. This is gonna be our first video, and today we're gonna do a Get, get to, to Know Us video. video. Okay, so we have our questions here, and we're just gonna let y'all get to know us. I guess talk about us, okay? Yeah. All right, so our first <laughs> question is How did we meet? I'll let you start first. <laughs> no, actually, I don't even know where to start with this one, truthfully. It's a leap up there, y'all. Excuse me, I get sidetracked. Anyway, so I would say naturally, <laughs> naturally like, not naturally, but to summarize it, we met at a young adults night at our church. We just, we met there. We had our um, youth conference that summer as well. And we just kind of got, start talking as friends then. Um, we'll probably put in some pictures. That's what we could do. We'll put some pictures of like we first met. Yeah. And which y'all are crack up. We're definitely going to depth. But just for a summary version, we'll go into depth later. But for a summary version, we met the younger adults night at our church, and we started from there. So, all right. Second question is, what was our first date, and how was it? I'll mm. let you start off that one. Um, our first date. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, what, what would you say, like, our first time we went out on a date, or um, is what I actually? So, I guess, um, who my goose? Mm -hmm. Um, I. We decided to go get lunch mm -hmm. at Hood Magoo's, and she was going to like this forward meeting, which is a conference we do every year for our youth, uh, middle schools and high schoolers. And we just hung out at Hood Magoo's, like get to know each other, mm -hmm. ask each other questions. A lot and, of questions, y'all. We um, we asked a lot of questions, which is a good uh, thing though. Yeah. Because there's something, especially in Christian dating, that should be addressed. Yeah. Like just know, I feel like the basic questions within the first date. Oh yeah. So it was so, really good. Yeah. We ate good. We laughed. Mm -hmm. um, we had a good time, and then I guess like our second second official date that I asked her to be my girlfriend, mm -hmm. we went out to Barebone Steakhouse, <laughs> and it was a great time. Like it was. the food was good. She had shrimp and grits. I had. Mm -hmm. Uh, he had a steak. Yeah, I had a steak, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was so good. He had some mac and cheese. Yeah, mac and cheese. It was mm -hmm. a lot, y'all. It was too much. <laughs> um, it was good, though. I'll yeah, it was good. <laughs> I'll probably put a picture of that somewhere in here, too. But yeah, yeah. it was really good. Yeah. yeah, it was great. And then I asked her to be my girlfriend. I decided to put like a little, I, you know how like they do in elementary, like yes or no or maybe. And so <laughs> I said, will you be my girlfriend? And she checked yes. No, it was funny y'all. Cause I, when I opened, it was a card and it was the letter that like a piece of paper inside the card. And so when I was, when I opened the um, letter, the note, when they, you know, that he wrote, will you be my girlfriend? I literally looked at, I said, you got a pen? And y'all, he was like this. <laughs> and, I was like, and so he gave me the pen and I just, I checked it. I let him look at it. He was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i thought that date was good though i it enjoyed good. it were you nervous i was nervous was you nervous like i, I was go ahead i was nervous like i didn't know if she'd be like oh not now mm -hmm. or like you know or maybe in the future or you know something like that i thought that would be the case so uh, but yeah it was definitely a great date he was he was great um yeah, yeah. i was like i definitely see myself being with him i'm definitely interested in getting to know more about him and so yeah i was happy to take that step with him definitely oh, okay. so, <laughs> um i'll let you ask the next okay. one okay um who made the first move <laughs> y'all saw he, how he started smiling halfway through asking that question <laughs> okay so okay so it's i'll give y'all the shorter version so we went to a young adults night and Ishmael was towards the end of it and everybody was cleaning up, everybody was leaving, we had snow cones, everything. I think we had what pizza and weed or something yeah. that night. And so um <laughs> Ishmael was cleaning up with the kitchen and everything. He was helping take trash out and different things like that. Mm -hmm. And um so <laughs> I started cleaning up, you know, the tables and stuff that were on the outside. Cause it was another couple girls, they was wiping down tables. So I was like, I can wipe down some tables, you know? And so I was like, I was wiping down the tables and I saw Ishmael like going in and out, taking the trash out. Y'all, this is where it just went. So I got some trash, I found, I think I had a water bottle. And so I was like, let me see if I can catch him on the way to throw out the trash, right? And so midway to get, you know, to try to catch up with him, another guy stops me. He's like, hey, I can take that for you. And I'm like, and so I go back to my purse, right? And <laughs> I go to my purse and I was like, let me see if I can find something else, y'all. 
So I think I found a mask, some old right. papers, receipts, stuff, stuff like that. Nothing, I was looking for stuff to throw away. So I got some stuff to throw away and I saw him, he was heading back outside. So I said, hey, I said, can I, um, <laughs> can I throw this away? He was like, yeah. And so he literally, y'all, he was nervous too. Let me tell y'all what he did. So when I asked him, could I throw something away? He made a hole in the top of the garbage bag. He was like, yeah, I mean, that's what you do, you know, when you're trying to fit stuff in the trash can, you make a hole. Yeah, so he made a hole in the trash can and stuffed the trash that I gave him inside of me. And so he remembered me from like our previous interaction at the other Young Adults Night when we kind of met amongst some of my friends and kind of just talked briefly. And so he was like, what was your name again? And I was like, Zion. And I was like, what was yours? Yo, I know good and well, I knew his name, but you know, had to play it off. I was like, what was your <laughs> I said, what was your name? He was like, um, Ishmael. I said, oh, okay. And so he went outside. I said, no, I helped him open the door to go outside. Cause you know, kind of, you know, it's what you do. Like he said, it's what you do, you know? So I was like, I hope I hold the door so you can go outside with the trash. So I helped the door, he went outside. And so he came back inside and I watched him, you know, from afar, I was like, okay, I'm actually gonna talk to him. So he started walking actually like towards the exit of the building, kind of, sort of. And so, um, I was like, all right. So literally, I felt the Lord. He was like, Zion, if you don't say something now, it's now or never. Like, you have to choose if you're going to make a move, say something to him now, catch him now, or you're going to wish that you did. And so what I did, I said, hey. And so he turned around. He waited on me. Y'all, he waited on me to catch up. And, <laughs> and, um, and so I was like, hey. He was like, hey. And so we just ended up talking. And he was like, so you were, he asked me about school or something, didn't you? Yeah, I actually like when oh, you're in. Like what school did you go to? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I go to West Georgia, mm -hmm. and you're in nursing and stuff like that. And I was like, Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, and then I asked him some questions. So at the time, he was in our church's college. Yeah, Free Chapel. College. Free Chapel. Yeah, Free Chapel College. And I asked him what practicum he was in. He was telling me that he were in young adults, and you. Oh, uh, young adults. Yeah, yeah, young, yeah, young adults practicum. And so I was like, Oh, that's cool. And so we both asked each other like, what made us choose those things. Yeah. So he asked me why, you know, what it is I loved about nursing and why. And then I asked him the same thing about just, you know, the young adults practicum and things like that. And my birthday was actually coming up. And so I said, you know, yeah, I'm about to turn. So at the time I was 21. 21 yeah. No, I was 20. I was 20. turning 21. And so I was like, yeah, my birthday's in a couple of days. I'll be turning 21. And he goes, okay, 21, 21. You know. <laughs> and so then um, I asked him how old he was. I already knew. Anyway, <laughs> and so he was already 21. He was turning 22, literally two weeks after me. And so um, he was like, yeah, I'll be turning 22 soon. I thought, okay. And so we get outside, y'all, and it's raining. And it's crazy, actually, that we're telling this story. And it's raining right here because it was actually raining that day. Oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> it was raining that day. So we go outside and it was raining. And so I was on my way out. So we were getting ready to leave. And um, I was like, so we just started making small talk, really. And I was getting ready to tell him bye. And I was trying to shake his hand. You know, I didn't want to be too forward, you know. <laughs> so I was like, put out my hand and shake it. And he was like, nah, let me give you a hug. And so he hugged me. I was like, okay. I didn't say, nah, I'll give you a hug. I said, I give hugs. Oh. That's, that's what I said. I said, I said, I give hugs. I didn't hear that. I heard something different. Anyways. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that's kind of how we met. And then from there. One of my friends ended up getting his number. Y'all, that was a whole other story. But we got his number. They sent it to me. No, gave it to him. He texted me. And that's kind of how we started talking. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's how we met. And, yeah. So, next question. Is who liked who, who first? first? <laughs> I don't know. Who? Who is that? I would you? say you. <laughs> um, definitely, it was me, y'all. Definitely. definitely. Like, um... So it just I saw him, he caught my eye, short I mean, long story short, on Instagram. And I was like, Who is this? And so <laughs> this was searching, not searching, you know how us girls are. We just so I found his Instagram. I didn't say nothing. I was just like, God, like if this is who you have for me, or like this is who, you know, since you're like you have wanted for me to be in a relationship with, I give this to you. So what I did is I started fasting for three weeks and literally within that time frame is when I got to know him. I didn't know him at all. I knew nobody who knew him at all. And so I got off of social media, I got off of Instagram, everything, and I just prayed. I prayed about it, I fasted about it, and fast forward three months, literally by the end of those three months, we were talking. Yeah, and the crazy and thing was like, 
I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wanted a girlfriend, but I wasn't really, you know, going out there like, I need to find a girlfriend, I need to find a girlfriend. I was just out there just like serving, like doing the thing yeah, that I love to do, which was just to mm -hmm. serve. So, and all along, she came. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy because at the time I still wasn't on social media. And after seeing me for the first time, he was looking for me on Instagram. I was, I was, try, I was searching. I was like, hold on, let me let me look on her cousin Instagram. Couldn't find her. Let me look. I couldn't even think of how to spell her name because I never like knew a name called Zion. So I was like, oh, I guess you don't have a social media source. He couldn't find it, and so um, it was actually, and I knew again that it was the Lord because I still wasn't on there. So if he had messaged me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have responded until like the end of that time frame that I told the Lord I was going to fast and pray about just us coming together in general. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. And so it was literally after four, which is our young adults conference, I mean, not young adults, youth conference mm -hmm. that we really started talking. And yeah. So, yeah. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, I definitely would say I have my eyes out on him first. Mm -hmm. He just kind of jumped on the bandwagon. It was like, you know. YouTube. Like, okay, <laughs> let's see where this goes. And we just started talking to his friends. Like, Next question is, like, what is your favorite memory about us? Yeah, just. I'll let you go first. I'm still thinking. Um, I guess like one of our favorite memories with each other was we went to Atlanta to go to Sky Zone. It was no, it was it's not. It's, I mean, it's, not Sky Zone, y'all. Sky, Sky Zone, Zone is like the trampoline, but it's, <laughs> it's Sky, Sky View. Sky, Sky View. View. It's, Sky a, View. Um, it's a Ferris it's wheel. Ferris wheel. And we went. Mm -hmm. We went one night, and <laughs> it was a great. It was a romantic night. It was very, very fun, and and all of a sudden we went to Ted's. Right? Yeah, we went to. Just wow! So oh y'all, we had some happen earlier this today. Is this is, is y'all. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you finish. We went to Ted's for a date, and then all of a sudden, um, um, it started to pour down raining, and like we didn't have a jacket or nothing. No, like, I had a jacket no, on, she... but <laughs> it wasn't doing nothing. And I'm like, I'm what am I cover you up? Like he was trying, yeah, he was trying to like shield me a little bit. Yeah, like shield her. Like, and we sit there trying to be all cute, y'all. Like, like I'm holding on to him. We walking like we not like, getting. It's the wind. Then we get lost. Too. We got <laughs> we got lost. We couldn't find out where we was parking, but like in the midst of it all, like I had like a great time. We had a great time. Like it was just. I, I feel like that dreams. night we connected like we in a did. different way. Like it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, I've got my GPS on my phone, like to the parking garage and parked yeah. that. Still got lost. Don't tell me how. <laughs> Get back to the car, y'all. And I had a hood on my head, thinking that it was doing something. I had my head straightened out the whole yeah. nine. Y'all, we got to the car. I pulled off that hood. My hair was a fro. <laughs> fro. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> No, but that definitely, that was hilarious. It was. That was a great time. It was. I don't think, and again, it's crazy that it was raining that day too, and it's raining now. I know. And I love that movie. Yeah. Let me see if I can think of another one outside of that. Like, ooh, ooh, I know one, y'all. Okay, so the day after he asked me to be his girlfriend, we went to one of his friend's wedding. Oh, no. <laughs> no. And so, so y'all, it was scorching hot, okay? So it started off at a church that we went to like their, I guess, reception venue. Yeah. And we were like in this metal tent. It was a soccer field. It was, it was, like a it was an indoor soccer, soccer field. field. And it was like in this metal tent. Yeah. And so we go inside, y'all. For somebody trying to be cute after you just asking to be a girlfriend, your girl was not you. I was really? sweating. I was hot. I probably lost some weight that day. Oh, it is. Ishmael was sweating. We sitting there using the plates to fan yes. ourselves. And Ishmael was like, you're not going to forget this? I said, absolutely not. Never. Never. Like, y'all, my hair was sweat out. I looked rough. We were trying to take pictures afterwards. I wasn't even picture material by that point. <laughs> <laughs> For real. We was all drenched in sweat. And, and sweat. Like, on my tank top, I, I literally could, like, wring it out. Like, it That's, was that crazy. It was hot. It felt like we were in an oven. Mm -hmm. Like, especially because it was metal tint and the sun was hitting it. Yeah. Like, when we were inside, y'all. For real. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so, next question. And what was, like, our biggest argument? Or what was it? Like, it could be something funny or something that was just... Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I wouldn't say it's an argument. It was just something um, I was battling with. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what he's about to say what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, like, it's something that I was battling with. Um... A little bit of our story that I we went on a break for a week 
And um, it was a time where I was just um, not reading my word, not in my devotion, not like not like connected with God. And I decided just to really uh, feel my thoughts and let the enemy speak to me like really lies. And the thing, the crazy thing about it was that I went on to a youth camp and during a youth camp, we didn't have no reception at all. So we couldn't talk no way. So we couldn't talk anyway. So um, I decided just like, we're going to take a break and then for a week and then a week went to two weeks. And um, the thing about it, I prayed, I prayed to God and I was like, God, like what exactly should I be with Zion? Should I continue to be in our relationship? And the God was like, she never did anything wrong. <laughs> and I was like, wow. So like literally my mindset went to really thinking of. And y'all before that, yeah. he was acting so shady. I knew something was wrong. It was, we wasn't broken up, but we yeah. just weren't talking. And so I was just like, okay. And during that time, like, I was like, I didn't know what to think. Cause yeah. I could tell he was like, like you said, just battling something or mm -hmm. he wasn't there. Like he wasn't the same Ishmael. Yeah. But like, you know, as far as our relationship goes. Mm -hmm. And so he's just like, yeah, I think we should take a break or whatever. And I was like, what do you mean by a break? That's why I first, when he said a break, I was like, do you mean break up break or like just yeah. not talk break? And so he was just like, let's just not talk for, like he said, the week or whatever. And we, we had actually come up with a day that we would talk, but that was the day that he had just got to the camp anyways. Yeah. And so we couldn't talk that day either. Just no reception. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, um, just like after that, like that moment, it was, it wasn't really an argument, but it was mm -hmm. just something that it kind of just changed a lot in our relationship as mm -hmm. far as like, like it, mm -hmm. it created like a space where we, mm -hmm. like now we can like talk about like, you know, mm -hmm. like, let's talk but let's, let's get real mm -hmm. so but i i do feel like in that moment that i you know had her sad like she was sad yeah. but i but i thank god that <laughs> i thank the lord that i i have her in my life because that has been the best mm -hmm. and we have cried yeah, a lot a lot over this like this story and this everything that we just yeah because like during it, i didn't know what he was going to be like at the end of it and again, initially before we met, I was like, God, like this is serious. Like, who you want me to be with? And I shouldn't be as worried as I am now, but I was. I was like, I didn't know what to expect the next time we did talk. Like, we're yeah. gonna be like, yeah, like I don't wanna, or like, yeah, I want to. And so I had already got myself prepared for the worst. I'm just yeah. gonna be honest with y'all. I was like, God, it was me and you before. It'll be me and you again. Like, it's it was no. And he literally, like Ishmael said, when God was just like, she didn't do nothing wrong. God told me that, just mm -hmm. in my our time not talking. Yeah. He's like, Zion, you didn't do nothing wrong. And I was like, okay, God, yeah, all right. And so no matter what the outcome was, I had already prepared myself for the worst in that sense. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if it's not him, good luck to anybody else who may be down the road, because yeah. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> But go ahead. Um, but yeah, that definitely, it, we definitely learned a lot from that. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely learned a lot about communication wise. Mm -hmm. And just let, just being real, like Ishma said, with each other. Yeah. Oh. Sit up just a little bit because it's getting kind of dark. Hold oh. on. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's go ahead. That's good. Um, I guess like before meeting each other, did we have a list or did the other person check those things off? Okay, I'll let you go first. Um, yeah, I definitely had a list. I wrote that. I never forget it was uh, who who made us. I think it either was our Miss. Uh, we call her Mo at the Free Chapel College, and she was like, "Y'all write a list of y'all date." And I was like, "Man, I don't know if this is true. I don't know <laughs> if this is real, but it's so real." If you have never <laughs> wrote a list out, I would definitely tell you to write a list. About, I would say, go ahead. you know, your. Who, you, who yeah. you want to be with. I would say so. Do so in a sense, but do it with God. Like, yeah. don't do it based off, like, your... You can do it based off of your preferences, but make sure in a way that it glorifies God. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, ask for the things that, like, God, I want this in a relationship because I know it'll show or reflect you. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. that was some of the things I wrote down in mind. I had one, too. Yeah. And I literally, when I made it, it was literally... I was in my car doing my devotion. It was me and God. I was mm -hmm. like, God... And it was after I was in another relationship. I was like, God, I know what I want now. And... Yeah, so I was like, me and you are going to make this list, and we're going to see, you know, what happens. And so, actually, when he asked me to be his girlfriend, he brought up the fact that he made a list. Yeah, like, uh, when I when I asked you to be my girlfriend, mm -hmm. I told about my list, and literally, like, everything on my list, she checked off. And we hadn't even started dating. Yeah. I was shocked. I was, was like, crazy. what? 
Yeah, so. And I had it one too, and I told him the same thing. I said, yeah, like, he definitely checked off everything as far as in a person, you know, who I would have wanted. Definitely checked it off, and <laughs> I was ecstatic. I was definitely ready to get to know him and thankful for him. Yeah. Just in awe of God, of just the things that he was able to do in bringing the two of us together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Write your list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> y'all he, he made me add this to the list yes. so anything after this so we we're about to say it was him okay so first okay so first kiss and who said i love you first oh um i guess like our first kiss <laughs> <laughs> our first kiss was that same experience that we talked about earlier about the wedding how odd it was and we went to go get ice cream after mm -hmm. the wedding i mean i took her back to her uncles and auntie place and we were just sitting in the car um i think he's going to school yeah i was getting ready to start school back. start school and i was like oh, i'm gonna miss you like it's been great just he was trying to you, hug man. me y'all and then he went in on this <laughs> nope <laughs> we actually like um uh, it was it was kind of like it was mutual it was mutual we, we just looked at each other like this mm -hmm. and, like licking and then, eyes and then, know, and then, then it was <laughs> <laughs> and then i mean yeah. yeah, it was it was mutual. Like it was mutual. I don't even think it was something we talked. You know, it wasn't no talking about it. It just happened. Yeah. And then first time saying I love you. So this is also that same night, and I was getting out the car to hug him to tell him bye y'all. And he says, I kid you not. This is the day after he asked me to be his girlfriend. He says, I love you. And then I said, What did you say? And he was like, Oh, I said, What did you say? I'll miss you. Yes, I miss he you. He said, I'll, I'll miss you. you. I said. You and so I go into that, uh, my aunt's and uncle's house and I texted him and I was like, did you, what did you say when you heard me? He's like, I said, I'll miss you or I'll miss you. And I was like, I know that boy said I love you. And so I think it was when he actually, we was, went to a football game together and he told me that night, I yeah. love you. And then he was like, um, he made it clear, yeah. definitely clear. And that was what, two months after that? And so yeah. I said, I asked him, I said, and he, no, he said, you know, um, that night I dropped you off. I said, yeah. He said, I did say I love you. I said, I knew. I said, you was lying. <laughs> I said, I knew that's I what did, you said. I did, I did, I did. I was the first one to say I love he you. He was. So. <laughs> and I was like, I love you too. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, we're trying to speed up because it's trying to come down right now. It's getting it's a little strange. dark. You but, can't um, see me with my teeth in my eyes. <laughs> All right, y'all. I mean, 10? 10, 10. Okay, so yeah. 10 is why we're starting this channel. And why well, the pinky promise. So, at the end of some of our reels, you'll see a little pinky promise thing and we're gonna tell you about that so the pinky promise was it was i think we was on a trip or something like that mm -hmm. and it's just a promise to always just be honest with each other about things and we were feeling some type of way yeah. just to be honest to yeah. let to promise to let each other know how we feel never to let it sit over time and just you know be mm -hmm. upset with each other or holding something in yeah and so that's just where that came from and it was actually a moment where i was the one holding stuff in mm -hmm. and he's like he can promise me that you'll you know not do that again or, you know just that we'll be honest with each other from now on and i thought that was so sweet yeah i know it was kind of on the you know kiddish end but it was just so sweet that he thought that you know mm -hmm. and i was like okay and so i was like are you serious he was like yeah and so he was like literally holding his feet he's like you got a pinky problem i'm not gonna leave this situation this talk until you say yes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i gave you know we had the pinky promise and that's what that was and yeah. then as far as starting this channel it's just to be a reflection of christ yeah um i, think, I love go ahead okay. i like i just love how <laughs> i'm like go ahead no you got it um I love us and I love like one of the things I ask for in a relationship is just that it would glorify God first and foremost mm -hmm. and that God's love will be reciprocated and reflected through us and that's why we started this channel just to be a light um in relationships for definitely for Christian couples and definitely just in each other's life to be yeah. a reflection of God and just to give y'all a little insight on what that is you know um, yeah. what that looks like and so yeah yeah and I think like this this channel like we started it um, we decided <laughs> we passed on the light. <laughs> um, we started this channel just to, like what Zion said, just to, to glorify God mm -hmm. within our relationship, but also just to um, the things that we walk through mm -hmm. as a couple yeah. and uh, dating and almost two years now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we just want to help. We just want to have fun. Encourage. We want to be goofy yeah. and just uplift people because we know how it is of dating and being a Christian and stuff like that. So, um, just be real with yeah. you. And lastly is, what is the most favorite thing about? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Um, about you. That's the light. Like, shed a light. Okay. Anyway, um, I would say my favorite thing about Ishmael is that I could be myself around him. Mm -hmm. I feel like growing up, it was very hard for me just to be my, <laughs> to be myself around like where I need the light, y'all. Anyway, okay, <laughs> to be myself around anybody, whether it was a friend, whether it was somebody I was dating, talking to, mm -hmm. just I found it very hard just to be me. And I love that I could be myself around him. Like, I can be goofy, I can be silly because he's all of those things, if not more sometimes, you know. <laughs> and I could just talk to him about anything. I always feel safe, comfortable, just to be myself. Mm -hmm. Like, all of me when I'm with him. And so I would definitely say that includes just, you know, regarding um, our relationship with Christ, regarding just laughing, dancing, whatever the case may be. Yeah. I love that I can do all of those things and be that person who I am true, authentically with him. So, yeah. <laughs> now your turn. And I guess um, for me, I would say similar. <laughs> I know y'all can't see me. <laughs> um, but I think just it will be similar just how like you, the way that you love, the way that you love me, the way that you love God. Um, but just I could be myself too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I cried about it like after we oh, started to date. He did. He told me about that. I was, was like, so I was like, wow, I can actually be myself. I can be goofy. I can, I can fart around her. I can, I can burp. I can just like be, <laughs> That's me, I can be ish. And like, I love that I can be that. And I love that we can like read the Bible together mm -hmm. and um, just talk about God. Like I, I love that what we can do in our relationship. Mm -hmm. So that would be my answer for that. Um, but yeah, and so yeah. Well, welcome to our channel. I hope you all enjoy. Definitely follow us. Yeah. Um, subscribe to our channel for more content. Check out our Instagram at the Ish and Zai. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the YouTube. Check us out at Ish and Zai. And I hope you all just join us for more content. Yeah. We're definitely excited to bring you all on for this journey. And if you all have any suggestions or things that you want us to talk about, send them our way. His Instagram, mine, or on our um account together yeah. for this channel and yeah like we love y'all don't forget god loves y'all no matter what if you're out there you're in a christian dating relationship god's got y'all just could no matter what just yeah. always put god first and let that be both of y'all's goal whether it be um just anything like pursue god together like and de never stop pursuing god individually because you want to not only do you want to grow with that person but you also want to grow in your faith you know because like i never well, you never want to go stagnant, you know, mm -hmm. whether that be growing in your faith together or individually. Like, as I'm growing in my faith, I want him to also be, like, pursuing the things that God wants him to do, who he wants him to be in that season. Just, yeah. Yeah, so, Definitely. yeah. Yeah, I'm just, we're just so excited just to start this channel with with y'all, but also I'm just so excited just to share with Zion. <laughs> this this <laughs> new experience. This new experience. So yeah. yeah I'm excited. So we love y'all. It's your girl Zai. And it's your boy Ish. And we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget, God loves y'all and we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>